Thank you so much, Jay, for coming tonight. And I'm so looking forward to your presentations coming up for the Blockchain Ask Me Anything. I know that we've had people at, who have attended our talks who've been desperate to know like more of the ba at least basic technical um, stuff behind the blockchain and cryptocurrencies. And I was wondering if you wanted to talk briefly about the sort of things you're going to cover, like, you know, what are some of the issues that you feel are really important? Right. So a lot of people uh, come to cryptocurrency space um, not understanding some of the fundamental problems that the technology behind cryptocurrency solves. So I'll cover those, starting with things like blockchain, uh, what are problems uh, that blockchain solve, and as well as consensus algorithm that utilizes information in blockchain. Fantastic. And uh, if um, I've only, I've been following um, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency since 2008 when I lived in Ireland, mm -hmm. um, but I've never really been able to buy um, any cryptocurrency yeah. until recently I've got a Coinbase account. <laughs> and, uh, and so I feel like it, even though I've been following it, to actually be using it myself, uh, it's very different. Uh, would you have any tips at all about that? Um, yes. So I think first and foremost, uh, try to understand the technology. Um, look up what they're trying to solve. Is okay. Are they trying to solve a real problem? Okay. And then after that, just look at sort of the, um, the technical uh, aspect behind it. So white paper should give you at least the introductory information on what they're trying to do. Um, move, uh, you know, going past that, I think it would be a good idea to understand if there are any open source codes that are out there that demonstrate their purpose. And um, do many programmers um, understand the blockchain and how to use it? I mean, it doesn't just come with the package of being a programmer, yeah, right? Yeah, so blockchain is an old technology. It goes back to 70s, <coughs> and it's an actually simple technology. But the, the thing is that a lot of the uh, programmers or developers aren't aware of some of the uh, you know original work that uh, is used to establish these fundamentals on, their, on the uh, cryptocurrencies. So... It would be good for developers to also get into the habit of reading more about what's actually being solved and how it's implemented. Wow, so it goes back to the 70s. Yeah. And so, but cryptocurrency wasn't around then. So what's the gap there? What, what, where does it stem from? Oh, yeah. So um, from the 70s, there were a lot of fundamental work that was done in order to solve uh, problems that... Uh, still exist in currency. Currency is a very ancient technology, and things like you know accounting is sort of a hack on top of currency and money. And so, when you talk about digital currency in a trustless environment in a public ledger, now you're talking about a lot of different problems. You know, sort of culminating in a single ap application. So, a uh, lot of the um, sort of academic development happened uh, and is continuing to happen, but it didn't have uh, the application that utilizes all those information, uh, all those uh, academic research, didn't come together until very recently when Satoshi Nakamoto published this paper. Okay. So then it was like all, all made sense and made. <laughs> right, right. It's like, uh, it's like when uh, Marconi invented the radio, when <coughs> a lot of these disparate knowledge was oh. everywhere, but Marconi put it together and, you know, he had a wireless telegraph. Well, that's very cool. So I've just learned something just even in talking to you. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. And um, I know the um, series is going to go over three sessions, um, two in San Francisco and one in Palo Alto. Mm -hmm. And I hope that people take advantage of the opportunity of yes. coming and listening to you. And uh, if they can't make it, they can also see it on the live stream. So thanks again. Jay. Yeah, thank you. And I hope uh, to see a lot, uh, most of you there. And hopefully uh, I'll be as informative. Fantastic. Right. Thanks.